when making the 30th anniversary soloist, I went back in, in time, 30 years in my brain, which is not easy to do. This one's different than what we're doing today. We're going back to the old school method of how we built things. This is literally handmade on the pin routers. The Soloist, as far as the body design, hasn't changed a whole lot, although the manufacturing process has changed enormously. Originally, we did three-piece center blanks, then for a period of time, we used 12-quarter maple, which both of those processes wasted a ton of wood. So we got into using five-quarter maple with a scarf-jointed glued-on head, which saved probably two-thirds of the wood. After we got set up to run it, it, it was really efficient. Some of the really cool things is we left the head angle on here, which is it's squared off today. So there are vintage soloists that will have that angle. They will have the head paper on here, which keeps the lamb joints out, helps strengthen up the head a bit. We're doing binding over the frets because we didn't have pre-notched frets back in those days. So we put the frets in, filed them flush to the fretboard, then put the binding on. Also, we've removed the first fret marker which we didn't put in for many years for whatever reason. We got the old school heel that's going on here. Still gives you plenty of access down below here. We're doing a three piece center blank which you can see the laminated pieces there using poplar sides. We're putting the old school rear control which is, hasn't been used probably for 25 years. In the 80s Music was changing really quickly. I mean, well, now we're getting into some metal. So MTV was like a brand new music television, which was like unheard of at the time, other than the Ed Sullivan show or something like that. And it's like, now you're getting to see what the bands really look like and really do, which a lot of them were really made up. I think the guitar players didn't want to play their dad's guitar. They wanted to play something new and right on. And, and this is the new stuff. The variety of paint schemes, to graphics, to bright colors, to you know, bright pink, fluorescent yellow to all kinds of pearl paint jobs. It's like it, anything in the spectrum we would paint. Well, it's still like a classic shape. It's a really good guitar. And the Soloist is gonna be a super limited edition for the really gung-ho collector guys. And they're not gonna wanna miss it. It's different than what we're doing today. It's back to the basics, back to the old days.